guys, thanks for clicking on this video. Welcome back to my channel. If you clicked on my channel before, if it's your first time here, hello and thank you. Um, so today we have another thrift haul. Now, this thrift haul is gonna be a little different because I wasn't supposed to go thrifting that day. And I walked into the place and I wasn't having good luck. And if you go thrifting enough, you know that like you took time out of your day and you really wanted to find something. So you settle for things you might not normally buy. That's kind of like how my day went. So with that being said, I walked out of there second guessing some of the items that I had picked. And I went onto Instagram and I asked some people, well, I asked all of my followers, I shouldn't say some people, um, if they would have bought it or not. And I find the opinion of others super interesting because we all think differently and we all will pick different items. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you my haul. I'm gonna tell you what people thought of the items and then I will put on the screen what like this item usually sells for online. Now, I have to preface this video by saying, if I start breaking a sweat, it's because I've got these big light boxes on me. I had to shut my air conditioner off to film this. So, get a little warm already. So we're gonna make this quick. Um, also, if you see me looking in this direction, that's where I have my notes. So, let's go. Um, this first item is a Free People sweater. It is, floral um the reason why i picked it up was because it is made out of ooh, wool and angora rabbit hair now looking at this on the rack i normally wouldn't have picked this up it needs some work i don't know if you guys would be able to see it ew there's hair on it it's probably mine um but it's got like some pilling detailing <laughs> so i'm gonna have to put some man hours into this the reason why I got this was because I was searching through the rack and I saw a free people item that I really liked, but it had a hole in it. So I told myself, okay, you're going to find another free people. It's fine. And then like right down that same rack, I found this. And even though it's not the prettiest thing in the world, I think I can get something out of it. Hopefully the comps will prove me right. And if not, I, it was a $5 loss. So on Instagram, people voted. 62% no. So, majority vote was no, they would not pick this up, and I don't blame them. Um, it's also a size small, so we'll see if I can work my magic, maybe get something out of it. All right, next, this is my first time, oh, this is my first time buying a lot of these brands, by the way, and a lot of them I still don't, <laughs> I don't know. So, this one, they're Miss Me Jeans. Now, not my style, but somebody's style. And these are like hot. These are hot. Like look at that detailing. Like, and they're really good condition too. Do you see that? So I know that these can sell for like a nice penny on the market. So I picked them up. They are capris. So if you're wondering like, why are they so short? They're capris. Um, I paid $5 for these and ooh, 55% of people said no. So majority vote, you wouldn't buy this. Next, this is a brand from Urban Outfitters. It's Kimchi Blue. I don't know if you guys can see that tag, Kimchi Blue. And um, yeah, it's just this really nice sleeveless dress with these pockets, um, brand new with tags. So it was originally $79 and it was marked down to $30. I got it for six, um, I believe. What did I get this for? I'm all out of order, $7. And I got this because I feel like it's perfect for like wedding season, summer weddings. Like if you're a guest at a wedding, perfect. Um, size small and majority vote was 50%. So y'all were confused about this one and I don't blame you. Um, $7 for a dress I'm not too sure about really isn't like what I would spend, but new with tags, it got me. This is a 
Lauren Vidal dress. There's a tag right there. Hopefully you guys can see it. I have no idea what you guys can see. Um, first time buying this brand. I have zero clue as of filming this who Lauren Vidal is and if anyone likes her. Um, I believe I ran comps in the store and I picked it up for a reason. So I'm assuming they're okay, I hope. Um, it's like a suede front and it has, does it have pockets? It has pockets, so. Um, let's see, Lauren. She was a 70% yes, which I was surprised in because I don't know this brand. So assuming you guys know something I don't. So we'll see. Um, next are Joe's jeans, just a nice staple jean, very basic, skinny jean. Um, Joe's on like in retail sells like, high. Like what? Is it like 150? 100? 150 dollars? I don't know. I'm making things up. Um, I paid five dollars for these, and 90% of people said yes. So yeah. I also just realized there is only one piece here that was 100% like you all agreed and then one piece was like almost 100% like no don't get it so I'm saving those two pieces for the end which is so interesting um another brand I'm not familiar with this was standard people's project um I'll show you guys the tag again praying that y'all can see this so again, a new to me brand. It's like a suede, faux suede dress. Oh, it's got pockets. Um, and it just, yeah, I don't know what these are. What are these? Kind of ties here. Ah! Um, so standard was 55% yes. And I paid $7. So again, you guys know something I don't know. This next piece had me confused. So it's Bag, mm, I'm gonna butcher this. <clears throat> Bagatelli. Bagatelle. Bagatelli. Um, it says awesome, like moto jacket. I have no idea what size is it size it is because either they didn't put it in or it got cut off, which I'm feeling like it got cut off, but it's just like it's kind of acid wash, but not really. It's kind of like suede, but not really. And when I looked up Vegatelli in the store, I thought that this, these jackets were going for like $100 on the resale market. Now, I'm not sure because I got home and I looked it up again and I realized it wasn't going for that much. So we're gonna shop comps again and we're gonna post it on the screen somewhere. And hopefully it's good. Um, let's see, 58% of you said yes to Vegatelli. Six bucks I paid. Next, all right, another name I'm probably gonna ruin. <sighs> is it Clara Sunwu? I think it is Clara. So first time getting this brand. Um, I've heard a lot about her. I don't know anything about her, I'm sorry. I heard resellers like literally say this name and if a reseller says it, it's gotta be good. I just kidding. Um, but this is a dress. It's got like cinched down here. So it'll make your, your booty look good. Um, it flows on the top. It's lovely. Um, I paid $7 and let's see, 70% of you said yes to the Clara. And I, I agree with you guys. Um, I feel like she's good. The only thing is trying to take pictures of a black dress is like, it's tough. Um, okay, this was maybe a fail. Ooh, if you're wondering what in tarnation is this, stick around for some upcoming videos because I want to go into more detail of how I process clothes, hence my little intro in the front, so or in the beginning of the video. Um, I kinda wanna go into detail about it. I found some awesome tricks lately that's making my life easier and I feel like I need to share it. And this is one of them, but can you guess? Can you guess what this is? I'm curious. Um, anyway, so this is G-Star Raw. I found this in the women's section in the jackets. It is not women's, it's a men's. Um, but yeah, it's just this hoodie. 
with a camo on the top and navy on the bottom. It's okay, it's a little more worn out than I wanted it to be. I was really debating on this because I pick up G Star almost every time, which I need to stop because I haven't sold a single G Star. But I check the comps and it's like, it's so tempting. So I have G Star pieces just hanging around. If you want G Star, let me know. I'm always willing to make a deal. Um, so yeah, I had to sweater shave this bad boy a little bit, but I think he's good. I think he's good. Um, so let's see, G Star got a 55% now. So y'all were like, put it back on the rack. And what I paid for that? I don't think I paid much, six bucks. That's something. Um, this I was excited about. Also, um, I found this G Star in the Bagatelli all in the same rack in the jackets section. Now, y'all don't sleep on the jacket section or the sweater section around this time of year. It is almost summer, but this is when people are kind of like going through the closets. They're like, I don't think I'll need this anymore. It's way too hot to even think about sweaters. Like, let's just get rid of it. Plus, people aren't shopping. For sweaters that much so if your thrift store doesn't change things out like for seasonal wear i think this is a really good time to look and i was getting desperate this day and i'm like i'm just gonna look in places that i wouldn't normally and hopefully it all paid off and hopefully i don't regret this haul <laughs> so this is blank nyc I believe normally sold at Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack. It is this awesome like black moto jacket. Let's see, I paid six bucks and y'all said 90% yes on this. So let me see if you're right. Let's see if you're gonna make me money. I'm just kidding, not you make me money. But like, let's see if we both agree this is gonna make me money. Cause I think it'll make me like a little bit. Blank NYC is a hit or miss for me, but this is nice. I might sit on it, but worth it. Um, whoops. This is a show me your moo moo piece. Now I'm normally, um, I, I have never picked up show me your moo moo. I normally wouldn't pick up just like a basic tank like this, no matter how cute and dainty it is. But since it was show me your moo moo and I haven't found this brand before, I wanted to cross it off of my list. And even though it's not a show me your moon dress, at least like this fulfills my desire to find it. Um, it is an extra small, so it might be a little hard to sell, but I mean, I, th I believe a small could fit into it. So got a little gift. So I paid not much. I paid three bucks for this and 78% of you said yes. Next up, ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, all the stuff. I just realized that. <laughs> I haven't broken sweat yet. Alright. I don't normally look in the men's section because it bores me. Um, but I was again desperate. So I went into the men's section and I decided to not like go through the pieces each individually like I normally do. I just decided to scroll stroll down the aisle and if anything caught my eye, I would look. This caught my eye. And I feel like it's worth it. So I guess the comps will uh, show me if I'm right. Okay, this is a vintage, I believe. I'm not that great at vintage. So if you are, please tell me. Um, J. Crew, extra, extra large, 100% wool, like knit heavy sweater. This cable knit sweater. It's awesome it's awesome i mean it doesn't have to be men's this is definitely like a unisex totally versatile sweater i'm in love with it i don't think it has any stains and i hope it doesn't prove me wrong um i paid where are we at with this i paid six bucks and i know i said i'd save this for last but it's like basically last y'all voted 100 percent on this this is the only piece you guys said 100 percent yes yes buy it so i bought it and i think it's gonna do good we're gonna see this is testing your knowledge as much as it's testing mine um this is a brandy melville piece Bada -bing. 
Um, when I was like in seventh or eighth grade, Brandy Melville was really starting to get popular. I think I was that young. Yeah, like a long time ago. Um, and I never was able to buy Brandy Melville because it was just a little out of my price range for a little like maybe beginning of high school er. And so I bought this to, you know, say like, you're welcome, young Olivia. But it is a crop top, no, or one size fits all. The reason I picked it up was because it's 10% wool. So I mean, it's not a big percentage, but it is a wool blend, which uh, I feel like is a little more sought after than non-wool blends. But yeah, I mean, I might sit on these sweaters for a little bit, but it's worth it. I mean, I get impatient, so this is going to test my patience. Last, certainly not least, but maybe least to you guys. I'm just kidding, no, it's not last. I have two more pieces that aren't being hung up and one piece I need to talk about. So, kind of the last of the, of the clothes. It's this pearl snap. What is this, Wranglers Western Wear for Women. Pearl snap, button up, shirt. People write songs about pearl snaps like you guys said, what did you say to this? 90% no to her. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's just me. Like, I love this. I might not wear it because this is a little bold for me. But you know, if I was going to like square dance or like a rodeo, your girl might wear this. I paid $5 for it. And we'll list the comps on the screen. Lord, please let me be right. <laughs> All right. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about is, let's see, it was a marmot, 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 marmo, marmo. I'm going to post a picture somewhere of it. It was a lightweight jacket. I paid $6 for it. The reason why it's not here is because I had to remove like significant stains from it, which I did not see when I was shopping because I was in a hurry and I just didn't look for whatever reason. Like I call myself a professional thrift shopaholic. Well, a professional thrift shopaholic would have looked for stains. And they were like, boom in your face. And I'm like, hmm, marmo marmo in my cart. I think I got it. I think I got the stains out, but you guys said 56% no, and I don't blame you. And you guys are probably right because of the stains, but I think it'll prove itself worthy. Oh, all right. So next we've got this Vera Bradley wallet. Um, I like Vera Bradley. I have good luck with her depending on the piece. This just seemed like pretty versatile because it had this like front pocket here. You don't see that? And it zips and then it displays all of your credit cards and it's got this like nice plaid design on the inside. I feel like I'm reading a book to children. Um, card holder, you can put anything in here. And then on the back, there's also a little zip pocket. And I wouldn't have bought this if it wasn't cheapish and it was $5 and you guys said 56% yes, which I'm surprised. I really thought I'd have more Vera Bradley fans, but I guess not. I'm, um, depending on the piece, I'm a fan, but I like green, so I'm a fan. All right, last, certainly not least, we have, these boys need some stain removal, but it's okay. They are Timberland booties hello yes 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 um these are a women's size six and a half which is basically my size i mean i meant like for heels i'm like a five five and a half but for anything else i can do a six even if i'm kind of like loose walking in them i can fake it like y'all won't be able to tell these are client clown shoes i can only tell they're clown shoes and that's okay um not saying these are clown shoes i'm saying like if i wear a bigger size they could possibly look like clown shoes on me. Anyway, um, not bad condition at all. There's just some like spots that I'm pretty sure I can get out. The bottoms look unworn. Let's show you. Yeah, they're like basically new. Um, I did pay up for these just a little bit. They were 
$15 and you guys said 89% yes so I think we can agree on these I feel like it's a little oversaturated on Poshmark and eBay I feel like maybe these will sell on Mercari but I guess we're gonna find out um, that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments below what you guys would have chosen. Like, did I make good mistakes? That's not a, that's not a right sentence. Did I make good choices or did I make bad choices? Let me know. You can shame me for my choices. That's cool too. Um, I would like to post a video every week. We're going to focus more on like reseller content, thrift hauls, but I'm going to dazzle in a little bit of like just talks, like life lessons that I want to share. And also I want to tell you guys some of my tips and tricks for processing clothes. So if that all sounds good to you, or if you just like to hear me talk, cause I don't like to hear myself talk, but if you do hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can get notified whenever I post a video. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.